everyone. So this is the part 2 of this series of video of me talking about my album. So in this first, um, well the first song I'm going to talk about will be Round and Round. So for this piece, when I first look at the title Round and Round and tried it on the piano, I soon realized that left hand is the line that brings out the characteristics of this piece. So while I kept my left hand going, on the melody part, I will try to... What's in my mind is all about calm and emotional atmosphere, that's what I'm trying to create. And then, um, so every time before there's a long pause, I always took a long breath before entering the new phrase. Mm -hmm. And also towards the end, what I'm really thinking was is um, life still goes on no matter what's happening, like, despite good or bad. So in overall, I think that breathing is a very important thing to do because although you can play expressively with a lot of rubato but I still have to remain the pulse while playing this piece. It is a solo piano piece that I wrote possibly back in 2012 so that's like about eight years ago from 2020. Um, so I was pretty young when I wrote this. I was still doing my degree. So the idea behind this song, or at least the inspiration or what gave me the idea to write this song, is the feeling of your life being stagnant and not moving anywhere. Um, I, know, I know that sounds depressing, but that's kind of like how I felt like back in the days. I felt like, I felt like everyone is moving forward in their life. I feel like everyone is achieving something in their life but at the same time I don't I didn't feel that way for my life. I felt like my life was stuck in the same place, like it's not moving anywhere. I just felt left out, I just felt left behind when everyone is moving forward in their life. I feel like I'm stuck in a small boat that's not moving forward or moving to the back, it's literally just floating in the same place. So one day, I sat at the piano and I played the left hand part of the round and round. And I just repeat the, the left hand line over and over again. And that suddenly gave me the sensation of, of it being stagnant. I felt like, oh, this, this progression is like just staying in the same place, a bit like how I feel right now. So that's like a sense of ostinato on the left hand of the piano line. And then I start playing around with the melody with the right hand and I make the right hand develop more and more to kind of like reflect what's going on in your mind. It's, it started very simple and then it start to grow into like a more, a more of a like an agitation in a way or a sense of like an un uneasiness of like why is it not going anywhere like I want to go somewhere but at the same time my left hand is staying in the same place so because of that like one part of you want to move forward but at the same time you don't know why there's another part of you that is just stuck in the same place so that's kind of like the idea or the story that I wanted to tell from this particular short and simple composition uh, and when Yan Yi played this, I thought it was really beautiful because this song is supposed to give a lot of freedom to the performer, to the pianist. And, and she did put in her expression and her interpretation as, as an artist as well into the music. So it's not, just, it's not just me that is the artist of the music, it is her as well. And I think she did a really good job. She really gave a lot of thought on how she wanted to shape the music. And when I heard it for the first time, when Ash sent it to me for the first time, I I was I got I got teary eyes and I was like I felt very it made me feel very emotional to listen to it sounding so professional, but at the same time emotional because I've always played it to myself. I've always played it by myself, alone with no one else hearing it. So. And I never wrote it down actually, I always just remember it in my head. So when I wanted to give it to Yan Yi, that was actually the first time I wrote the music down and I passed it to her. And when she played it and she managed to evoke 
the emotion that I was feeling and that sort of made me feel emotional because it made me realize that this is something that everyone can feel. This is not just something, it's not just about me, it is something that everyone can possibly relate to. And that I think a moment as a composer, as an artist, it gave you that sort of that emotional feeling of that the possibility of your music being able to reach out to people and them having to be able to relate it um, to, to their own life. So if you have ever felt that way, like how I felt back in 2012, then I hope you will be able to relate to this song. And I hope you will be able to move past that, that particular phase in your life. And I really do hope that you enjoy this because it, it, it is a very, it's a simple and short piece but it, it has that special place in my heart because even from from 2012, I never actually stopped playing it. Every time I'm at the piano, that's usually the first piece that I play by myself. Of course, I, don't, I actually never really played this in front of people up until now. So, um, so I really do hope that you enjoy it and I hope you will be able to relate to it in one way or another to your own life.